Hey, welcome back to Living in Minnesota. My name is Joe Carmack, and this is Blaine. Blaine, Minnesota is located in the North Metro, just about 20 miles north of Minneapolis and St. Paul. This area back in the 1950s was just a little dairy farming town of about 1,700 people. And with the expansion of Highway 35, Highway 10, and Highway 65, that really brought more settlement into the North Metro. In 1990, they put in the National Sports Center. 2000, they put in the TPC Golf Course. And there's also an airport, and that's created a huge draw for Blaine. As of 2021, the population was about 70,000. So it's actually the 10th largest city in the entire state of Minnesota. Part of Blaine's popularity is because it's just such a great city for so many different people, from diversity to great schools, so it's great for younger families. You've got entry-level real estate, you've got great parks and recs that families will enjoy, and then it's also got a great opportunities for seniors, from if you're wanting a villa on the golf course to the senior living facilities and the senior center. Blaine's got a ton going on. One of the things Blaine is most known for is the National Sports Center. So this is actually in the Guinness Book of World Records as the largest amateur sports facility in the world. So they do all kinds of different events, indoor and outdoor for sports like baseball, soccer, hockey, lacrosse, football, pretty much everything you can think of does happen here. They host national events and international like the USA Cup, but then it's also the home to a lot of the major recreationals for the local you know, soccer teams and things like that. There are 52 different fields outside, plus quite a number that are inside as well. Besides all the organized recreation, Blaine's also got a ton of outdoor space. So you'll see right here, we've got the Blaine Wetland Sanctuary. This was developed in 2017, and it's just a huge area that's kind of a conservation area, and there's tons of trails and things. So if you enjoy getting your family outside like we do, this is a great area to live. And I can't forget to mention that the National Sports Center is the official training facility of the Minnesota United. So if you're following me on socials, which you should, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you'll see that we love Minnesota United and we're at pretty much every single home game. Blaine really doesn't have a tiny downtown like some of our other cities because it's really too young of a suburb. So instead, you're gonna find a number of chain restaurants that are scattered throughout in smaller little shopping centers. You do have the Northtown Mall, which is on the south side. That's gonna be a larger indoor mall, but you've also got Riverdale, which is up to the northwest. That's a huge outdoor mall and a main shopping center there. You've also got up 35W and Lexington. There's a few different areas. So you've definitely got shopping within plenty of areas, but it's not going to be little mom and pop walkable boutique types of areas. Blaine served by two school districts primarily, Spring Lake Park School District to the south, which has a little portion, and then the majority of the city is served by the Anoka Hennepin 11 School District. Niche.com gives the Anoka Hennepin School District an A- minus rating overall. Overall, a very good school district, and Blaine High School, where we're at right now, is in the top 10% for the entire state for all public high schools. Kind of a fun fact for Minnesota schools, if you're moving here from out of state, your kids can actually take classes uh, from an outdoor adventures class program that they have here, where they'll teach you things like cross country skiing, uh, sledding, ice house building, and all kinds of different very Minnesotan winter activities.
that I love about Blaine is that there's a really wide range of real estate available from starter homes starting you in the mid 200s right now to really nice executive homes in the 1.2 million. So there's the whole range. If you're looking for something more affordable, you can look in the southwest side of Blaine. That's going to be uh, the older part of town between the 1970s and 1980s is when these homes were built. You're going to see there's primarily split entries or ramblers, which is what they built all throughout the Twin Cities in that time frame. One of the best neighborhoods of Blaine is called The Lakes. Now this is a huge development that was built in the early 2000s over some sod farms. So the big draw for here is a lot of the homes are going to have lakes or ponds right in the backyard. It's also surrounded by a golf course. And so this is a very high demand area, both for maybe seniors that are looking to downsize, that want maybe a one level villa, or for families as well, because you've got Blaine Beach, which is right next door. So that's a big outdoor beach, obviously, and it's got volleyball and playgrounds and different facilities there. This is also where they host the 3M Open, and so it's a huge golf tournament that comes every year, which is a really big draw for this area. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in Blaine. If you're thinking about moving to Minnesota or you're already living here, I'd love to be your agent. So you can find all my contact info down below and you can find more great content on the channel.